guys so I just put on all of the leaves and I actually really like the look of it um, pretty much what I did was I used all of the uh, color leaves um, and then kind of towards the center of the tree I just kind of used the light green and uh, regular green and then on the top here if I move this you can see I kind of just covered it all with the dark green leaves and I put in that nice olive green leaf there and I definitely think that gives it a good cushion tree look um, and I do definitely like the look of all the sloping and you know branching out so definitely I think this is a good uh, addition to the mock um, and I'm just gonna keep it together how it is I actually built it onto a couple plates I don't want to tip it so that nothing falls off but I built it onto a couple couple plates so I can just put it wherever I want it um, so yeah, so I'm really glad uh, with how this thing turned out. It looks really great in my opinion. Um, so yeah, let's jump into the rest of the mock. All right, so here is the whole entire mock. I did, however, make these two uh, tree thingies. Probably what I'll do if I use these at all is I'll probably just uh, make these fallen uh, logs, which I think will look pretty good. So I might just have them be like, you know, put some olive green, and reg like just one by twos so that they've been kind of fallen for kind of a long time and they're just kind of mossy and stuff like that so but I think it looks pretty good uh, so far uh, I obviously did a couple things since the last update you'll notice I added in some dark green and just regular one by twos and other colors and one by ones and studs and stuff to the path I think it looks a lot better. I also took out the regular green 1x2s because it didn't really match very well. And then just added in some olive green. So I actually think that looks really good. Um, I also took out one of the big bushes and put it in the longer strip. Um, and I'll try and mold this together more. Um, the nice thing about this is it was kind of a uh, you know, dark brown or dark tan outline into a like sand tan patch. Uh, and then this is kind of just, it's all dark tan. So then I don't really know how I'm going to make that stand out, but yeah. So pretty much, uh, so far what I've done is just fiddled around with a couple of the path and grass patches and stuff like that and made the Kashyyyk tree. So I want to try and build, first of all, just get the, uh, other path out there. Yeah. So let's jump right in to putting down that path. that's gonna wrap it up for this update um i don't know when the next one will be um because <clears throat> as you probably can gather i'm out of parts so um that's pretty surprising actually um obviously this is the biggest thing i made so i wouldn't really know that but i definitely thought i had a lot more just regular plates than it seems that i do um but yeah so um, that's unfortunate. I do have a lot of one by twos, but um, pretty much the only stuff that I have like just regular plates of is gray and light gray. Um, and that's not really going to help me. So yeah, but uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this update. Um, it's unfortunate, uh, definitely. Um, so yeah, but I will be going to the Lego store probably after Christmas. Um, and then hopefully they have some, you know, plates of the colors that I need that I can just sit on there. Um, so, yes. Um, so pretty much this update was just the big Kashyyyk tree. And... Yeah, so I definitely, like, if you look at it from here, I definitely think that's big enough. Um, 
you know, it's not as big as some people have made theirs, but I definitely think that's big enough if you compare it to some stuff. Um, so, I definitely think this mock is coming out great, and with the Kashyyyk tree, um, it'll be a lot easier to tell, oh yeah, this is actually Kashyyyk. But yeah, so that's it for this update. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye. Thank you.